Hey good people, it's Tashara from Politics and Fashion here today with my tips for staying stylish when it is cold as hell outside. If that sounds good to you, just keep watching. Now I feel kind of guilty filming this y'all because at the time of me filming this, I will be in Mexico tomorrow um, and I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm sharing tips with you about what to wear when it's cold and in fact I'm probably going to be evading a snowstorm in the Northeast because um, I'm going to be living my best life down in one known as Mexico. Nevertheless, when I come back, okay, these tips are for sure going to be pertinent because the weather is getting much colder. It is January at the time of me filming this and I want to share with you how I have learned to maintain my fly in the winter months. So let's get started with the first tip. My first tip is to invest in quality sweaters. These are the things that are going to be in your closet for the long term and to allow you to accessorize them, to dress them up, dress them down. And I really feel like should be the bulk of what is in your closet when you're looking at sweaters for this time of year. Now, it doesn't mean they have to be 100% of any naturally de derived fabric that can get to be a bit pricey. But when I'm looking for sweaters, I always look for a natural fabric. And when I can, I want that natural fabric to be 50% or more of the fabrication of the garment. Again, not always possible depending on your price point, but it is something to consider because when you have polyester, number one, it doesn't keep you as warm, it doesn't feel as great on the skin, and it just very simply does not last as long. So what we are looking for, y'all, is of course cashmere. We're looking for vicunia. Okay, girl, if that's within your budget, jump out there and be great, okay? We are looking for mohair. We are looking for wool. We're even looking for cotton, which is part of the blend of this Jocelyn sweater that I have on today. Um, but once again, we are trying to find ways to ensure that our pieces are really going to be able to last for the long term and not just be for this season and this season only. And I have two that I want to share with you that fall within this category. Number one, you've already seen it. It is this chartreuse one that is from J. Crew, um, and I love it because y'all, the collar is just so me. You know what I'm saying? Just gotta pop the collar every once in a while, um, and the color is amazing. And the zipper is also gold, which I feel like sometimes it's hard to find. And for me, as someone who loves gold, it is a consideration. And they make this in a few other colors, but I got it during I think the Black Friday sales, and I've linked it a bunch of times for you already, so I won't get too deep in it. Besides to say that I am wearing it here with a pair of jeans. These are from Urban Outfitters. They are a size 31 in the waist, so they're too big. I think they're also meant to fit kind of oversized, but I don't mind that. This time of year, I do tend to kind of lean into my baggy jeans era, okay? Um, so if you see me any time of year wearing things that kind of have this low waist fit, it's going to be during the winter months because I just think it's a lot more cozy. Um, and I am also wearing my gold Dries Van Noten boots, which I will get to in just a minute. But the standout piece here is, of course, the sweater. And I think whenever you can add color to your wardrobe this time of year, why not? Um, I can't say anything bad about the sweater. I've washed it. I've laid it flat to dry it could use like a good sweater shaver but that's true for um, most knits just simply because as the fabric rubs against itself it kind of starts to peel or to kind of have these loose fat fibers that you want to shave and take good care of. And a sweater shaver, they have them on Amazon Girl down at Target. You can find those anywhere. But it's something you're gonna wanna have because again, if I'm talking about investing in quality over quantity, you wanna treat your garments well. And then number two is this sweater that I got from Quince. So there are gonna be quite a few pieces from Quince in this video. It is not sponsored by them, but I am on their PR list, so I'm grateful. And I am obsessed, y'all, with this kind of it's hard to describe it's brown but as you can see it's not like a solid brown it's almost a gradient brown turtleneck i am a turtleneck girly i think it's because my neck is you know accentuated because of my height i'm almost six feet tall so i feel like if i was on the continent i would be one of the people in the in the ethnic group that has the rings around their neck what is that What's that tribe called? If y'all know, drop it down below. Those are my people. We see each other because just the practice of adornment and how that neck really just sits up high um, is definitely how I see myself. And so, what am I talking about? What does this have to do with this? Oh, turtleneck. Oh, Lord, 
Lord. All right. Uh, I love a turtleneck because of that. So when I saw this color, I had to have it. It is incredibly soft. If you do not know what Quint specializes in, y'all, is affordable cashmere, affordable natural uh, fabrics that are made in just classic pieces, wardrobe essentials, the things that will last a long time. They definitely have longevity, but most importantly, you can wear them in a variety of, the, of ways. And the way I have styled it, y'all, is with these a B Project cargos now the cargos are sold out that is a black owned brand that i will link down below but there are many dupes of this style because where they come from that is trending is these attico cargos and so we wasn't gonna jump out here and pay a stack for jeans but instead i have these and i love them just as much and i've seen others once again and so I think together with like the slim fitting turtleneck and the oversized jeans, this outfit works well together. The turtleneck, by the way, is in a size small. I intentionally got it in that size because I knew that I wanted it to fit a little bit closer to my body. And then I threw it on with my O'Hara blazer by M.M. LaFleur. This blazer is a checkered pattern. Uh, this was gifted to me by the brand last fall, maybe, and I have the full suit. But, and I could have actually worn the full suit. But I love it here with the jeans, and I'll tell you why, because I am wearing my Nike SBs. I think these are called blazers and SBs for short. But either way, the color in them, as you can see, is not like a pure white. It's more of like a pinky nude. And I feel like it matches really well with the blazer. And also my Mew Mew bag, which I haven't shown y'all. I mean, you saw it over on social media. So um, if you are not following me, this is your time to follow me all over the interwebs at politics and fashion because I know I unboxed this definitely on TikTok. And I also unboxed it over on, was it YouTube Shorts? Or was it on Instagram? It was Instagram for sure. Um, but again, you're reminded to follow me over on social. We have a good time there for sure. It's always a good kiki, girl. It is a good kiki. I heard someone say orange the other day, and it just brought back fun memories. <laughs> So, nevertheless, um, I feel like my new Mew Mew bag, which I got from a local consignment shop, really pulled the entire outfit together. And this is the kind of outfit that I would wear to go and work now at a local coffee shop, or if I was out running errands and wanted to bring my computer because it does fit in the Mew Mew Hobo bag and decide that I wanted to, I don't know, do some reading, do some writing, do a little bit of blogging. Whatever it may be, it is, in my opinion, a stylish and elevated outfit that is outside of kind of just wearing your sweats and a hoodie, which is the most comfortable thing to do this time of year because we all want to hibernate. Love that look too, don't get me wrong, but we're talking about how to amplify our style this time of year. And I will get to outerwear in just a minute, but this is something that obviously I would put a coat on top of on those very cold days. But I love the turtleneck with the blazer, with the oversized jeans and the sneakers. It's a look. I mentioned getting the bag from a local consignment shop and that reminded me that I really want to take a moment here to plug secondhand shopping when it comes down to this category. Y'all, I found a long, like literally maxi length gray sweater dress from a consignment shop probably about 10 years ago that I still have in my closet. It is a cashmere piece. I've washed it on Gentle Cycle. I have laid it flat to dry, obviously. I have also taken to the dry cleaners. I mean, this thing has just stood the test of time. And I feel like for the $40 that I paid for it, that thing actually has been, at this point, like pennies regarding cost per wear. Um, and I'm sure brand new, it was a few hundred dollars, if not more. I really, really wanna underscore how you can hit the lick, y'all, at local consignment shops, at thrift stores, down at the Goodwill, at the Salvation Army. I mean, you can find these kind of wardrobe basics that are high quality material everywhere if you do not want to buy them new. This is the beginning of the year. Many of you all have kind of shopping goals in mind regarding your consumption and slowing it down. You have financial goals that you want to meet we are all out here trying to buy something new and I completely get it but if you find that your wardrobe is missing these kind of high quality sweaters girl there are too many places to go to count Poshmark thread up where you do not have to pay full retail so please keep that in mind 
Now my next tip is to layer and you saw a bit of this when I put the blazer on top of the quince turtleneck and once again I would even put a coat on top of that depending on the temperature but I want to go one step further and what I'm going to do is take the black version of the quince turtleneck because I have it in black and in brown. Thank you once again to quince and I'm going to put on top of that a sweater by Aqua that I got from Bloomingdale's last year for sure but I don't remember if it was it was like last January, I think. And so Aqua, I believe by Bloomingdale's, y'all, is another great place to find sweaters. This sweater is so soft. And I think the fact that it has that zip, like the J. Crew one, makes it very easy to layer. But I'm not done yet because what I'm going to do is also throw on an oversized blazer. This one is in a size large. It's by Anita Bing. It is a wool blazer. I picked this up, y'all, recently, I think right before New Year's, because I wanted a blazer to wear out at night that was not not that was a heavier fabric than the ones that I currently have and I also like the fact that it kind of has more of a boxy shape and it also has shoulder pads and so because it is oversized I think it works with basically two sweaters and a tank underneath okay so talk about layering and once again I could still put my coat on top of this and so when I talk about layering what it means is just take your favorite pieces and figure out how to remix them another thing that I could do if I did not want to put on the aqua sweater is possibly a white button up or any color button up and then put a blazer on top so trust me you have options think about what you already have and how you can mix it to layer it for this time of year and then my jeans are by Universal Standard. This is a pair of high-waisted skinny jeans. As you can see, they are in a gray color. And I popped on my Western boots. These are by a brand called Tacovas. They are authentic Western boots. A lot of my Western boots are more kind of for style. But these are like down at the place, like back at the ranch. 40 acres and a mule style western boots and because of that they are fully leather and i want them to kind of be beaten up a little bit um so i haven't gotten them shined in a while um so if you can see the toe the toe tap is a bit worn down but i want to go for that rugged look especially because everything else that i wear as far as my style pillar is concerned elevated simplicity tends to be a little bit more refined and sleek and i like the idea of having something rugged about my style and that's where the tacovas western boots come into play grabbed my Saint Laurent Eastside bag which y'all told me not to sell we see each other thank you I've been pulling it out a lot more because of that and that is the look this is a casual look as well another kind of working down at a coffee shop running errands on a Saturday look I am going to dress it up in just a moment but I did want to give you a few options that are going to allow for you to look your best without having to spend a whole lot of time thinking about what to wear it allows for you to be warm and to still be fly at the same time now, speaking of dressing up, that's where my next tip comes into play, and it is to add texture. Add texture, okay? I want to see the patent leather. I want to see the faux fur. I want to see the feathers. I want to see all the things, the, 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 the faux lizard, okay? The alpaca. I need to see all the exotics just really brought to fruition this time of year. If you cannot wear them this time of year, when can you, honestly? And I happen to think that when we are all bundled up, having that pop of texture really goes a long way. So again, the tribe doesn't steer me wrong, okay? And y'all told me that as it relates to this, it's actually considered a bolero jacket, but I call it a crop sweater that is wool from cost. I'm wearing a size medium large, by the way. Y'all told me, y'all said, what if you put a sheer bodysuit on with it? And I said, you know what? You right, my G. I don't have a sheer bodysuit, so let's improvise. What I do have is this sheer top from Styland. Had this for years from Farfetch, one of my favorite pieces in my closet. And this is just a perfect way to winterize something that we already have. And if you have something that is a texture and maybe you're thinking, oh, uh, it's short sleeve or it is a short dress or a shorter skirt, what am I gonna do with this thing? Think about how to make it more weather appropriate for this time of season. And because obviously the sweater is cropped and it has just a simple scoop neck, it allows for the feathers to just pop. Out on top of talk about a cute date night look girl a, a, a night down at the gala at the institution look and you just sipping a dirty martini extra dirty three olives shaking not stirred what I decided to do was go for all black 
you got me i'm real basic in that way um it will not be a styling video this year without an all black or an all neutral look for sure monochromes are my uh, love language and indeed my spirit animal and so i felt like what could really set the whole look off is to wear it with a pair of trousers so nix the denim i put on these um high-waisted kind of like joggers but they're trousers from sandro have had these since last year or the year before um and i also put on my bottega pumps these are the ones that have the leather piece that goes between the toe and then wrap up around the ankle unless i'm seated you probably won't see that but it's a nice peek if you are seated I threw on my Natia and the Laco earrings from Farfetch and then pulled out this bag, y'all, that I actually got from Amazon. My mom saw this bag, I think, on a reel, so I guess it's been kind of trending or maybe it went viral, and she was like, ooh, look at this, do you want it? And I was like, say less, of course I want it. She sent it to me, and this is the cutest bag, y'all. It is a statement piece, obviously. And that is, again, what we need this time of year to stay stylish. Like, how are we making our accessories as bold as possible? And this was for sure under 50 bucks. I will link it down below. So we got all black with a pop of gold and a pop of feathers. Add texture, my friend. Definitely a pro tip this time of year. Now, given what I just said about all black, this is probably going to be really funny to hear me say, add a pop of color. But not surprising being that the first sweater I showed you all was chartreuse. And I had to get really intentional about this, y'all, because I feel like what I wear reflects and affects my mood. And when I looked at my closet, I had way too many dark colors for this time of year. And so I made it my business to ensure that if I was bringing anything into my wardrobe last fall, specifically around Black Friday, that I wanted it to be color. And that's exactly what I did with these pieces. But first, let's start with this Jill Sonder t-shirt. Again, how can we winterize our favorite things ignore this wet spot in the front girl I had to hit it with a shout wipe something was on it um but it's something that I got from satire which is one of my favorite luxury websites as of late much 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 cheaper than what it is currently at the Jill Saunders Boutique. I will link it down below. It is a very, very heavy cotton. And then I am wearing it with a green slip skirt that I was actually going to return. I got it from J. Crew, And I thought to myself, you know what? Again, I'm going for color. You, you got it for a reason, keep it. And so you all probably saw this during Vlogmas, but I'm styling it a bit differently here because now what I'm gonna do is put it on top or put on top of it my Tiger cardigan. That is almost, y'all, the perfect color match. Houseway. Houseway. God, I see you working in my life. Okay? Because favor ain't fair. And I just think to have this color, knowing I don't do a lot of color, and have it match with multiple things in my wardrobe is exactly what you want. And so don't think that just because we are consuming consciously and I talk about having a capsule wardrobe means that you can't have color in your wardrobe. You certainly can. And here's an example of how to wear color multiple ways. And I wanted the outfit to be relaxed. And so I kept the uh, shirt untucked because I just wanted it to look like, I don't know, I am a really cool boutique owner in Brooklyn. You know what I mean? Like, you come to my shop, I have great coffee, great conversation, I have live events, it's a small little restaurant in the back, and also just amazing pieces from across the world. That's what I was kind of, the spirit that I was embodying with this, and also maybe I'm manifesting that, but... Most importantly, what I decided to do was to switch up my jewelry. And so I put on my Amazon teardrop earrings. These are Bottega dupes. Threw on a pair of silver boots because I do think silver looks really good. Really any metallic with color. Um, and I'll talk about that in just a minute. But... Uh, this is probably one of my favorite outfits in this entire video. It brings in color. It brings in metallics, which y'all know I love. Now, if you need a coat, no worries, because that brings me to the next tip, which is to add white to your wardrobe. I don't know who came up with this idea that we cannot wear white post Labor Day. I actually talked about it over on an Instagram post where I said there are five style rules that I recommend we get rid of in 2024. And that is one of them. We can wear white year round. And as a matter of fact, in the case of this outfit, I think we should. Because I argue that black is oftentimes too harsh to be worn with color. 
Instead, what is going to really allow you to do your big one is to throw on metallics and or white. And I'm going to do both with this outfit. So as you can see, I have the silver boots on. I have the large silver earrings. And now I am going to throw on the white coat. Uh, this coat is described as faux fur. I don't think it's really faux fur. I mean, the fabric, the fibers are raised but nevertheless they describe it as faux fur and it is by top shop but i think i got it from nordstrom maybe if i can find it i will definitely link it as well as everything else i've talked about today this was back to me being the boutique owner down in brooklyn it's easy laid back and i am going to put on a bomb coat that feels like it is as bold as the outfit and i am just as stylish having lost a thing even though it is very very cold outside I have two more examples of winter white. Um, another one is these boots. I got these boots from Lulu's y'all a while ago and I really wanted to put them on with the green skirt while I had it on and to also wear it with a complimentary green sweater also from J. Crew, which you all have seen before during Vlogmas. And there's something about again this monochrome look, green sweater, green skirt, I went there wear black. Um, I could have kept on those same silver boots, but instead I decided to do white. The sweater and the skirt are conservative pieces, and I feel like the boots add a lot of fun. Who doesn't need a pair of white French boots? I mean, it's a wardrobe staple. <laughs> That white coat is back on as well as my coach clutch in silver. I have on a pair of silver and gold drop earrings by Zara. Put back on my Saint Laurent sunnies and that is that look. Now let's get into winter white outfit number three. Let's go back to one of the previous outfits when I had on the Quince turtleneck and the O'Hara blazer by M.M. LaFleur. Now instead of wearing the cargo pants and kind of wearing it casually, I'm going to take it up a notch. And this time I am going to do a pair of cream high-waisted jeans. These are also by Universal Standard. Tens across the board for their jeans, y'all. And that brand is incredibly size inclusive. But I wanted to wear these jeans, not just because of the color, but also because I wanted to be able to put on this pair of boots. They are kind of in this tobacco brown color by Dolce Vita. Uh, a skinny jean and a, and a high boot and a knee high boot, it, it ain't gonna never steer you wrong. It will certainly not, all right? And also I think to bring some fun to the outfit, what I wanted to do as well is to show you guys um, this cute little pollen bag or pollen bag. They have a boutique now in New York. I wanna share with you more about this brand. I've mentioned them before about underrated handbags, but uh, y'all know that guy who takes bags apart on the internet, T Tanner Leatherskin, I think is his name. Um, he was interviewed by the Times and he was asked, what are bags that are really great kind of value for money where the quality and the craftsmanship match the price? And he mentioned Pauline. So look at us, we were ahead of the curve, okay? And so I got this during Fashion Week. I love this color, it's ox blood burgundy color. I just feel like it picks up the blazer so well. It brings some warmth back to the look, even though I am wearing these cream skinny jeans. And again, it just pulls everything together and it makes it fun. Um, I think that's what I'm also looking for when I say stylish during this time of year. We are so bundled up as we should be depending on where you live it is cold outside. But just because we're bundled up doesn't mean that we cannot lose our flair and our fly. And my last tip is to upgrade your outerwear. As I mentioned, I was getting to outerwear. So I showed you the white coat. That was not something that I wanted to spend a lot of money on. I mean, I'm not wearing a white coat on a daily basis. However, I think for what it is, it was a great buy. I probably spent 50 bucks on that because I caught it on sale and I think I grabbed it right around fashion week one year. But aside from that, I also want to show you a camel coat because a camel coat could have gone with many of the looks in this video, including the last one. I got this coat from Everlane years ago from the Everlane Boutique in New York, one of the first ones, I think, maybe a flagship store. I was so excited when I went in there because I knew I needed a camel coat and this one did not disappoint. They no longer make it, but because of this, I can definitely speak very highly of Everlane's outerwear. I think tens across the board if you just need a classic staple jacket. And... Uh, a hack, once again, is when it is cold outside, 
and you want to keep your style is to use a blazer as a layering piece and when you get to wherever you're going you can always take of course the coat off but also the blazer off or the blazer can remain part of your look as it did with the outfit that I just showed you all. And what I also decided to do when we talk about outerwear was to throw on a hat. This is the Western hat that I got from Santa Fe uh, when I was there in April. I don't have a lot of wool fedoras anymore, but I feel like this did the trick, um, especially with the retro style aviators by Elisa Johnson. I really, really like this look. And I also took the little small micro bag and I wore it crossbody on top of the coat and I had the blazer kind of peeking through. This is what you wear when you go out, going out to dinner with your in-laws. You know what I mean? And your mother-in-law already thinks that, that you do too much. And instead of dampening your light, honey, let it shine. <laughs> let it shine on her. And just very politely, excuse me, hi guys. Just figure out. I'm starving. I haven't eaten all day. Been on calls all day. I barely had time to get dressed. Knowing you already knew what you was gonna wear last week. That's that that's that's what this gives for me. Another coat that the people them are in love with, and I understand is my normal Kamali. They call it a sleeper coat or a blanket coat. I've seen this style as a constant for her. And she will bring it out in different colors throughout the years. And so, whereas I got it, I believe February 21 in a partnership with Amazon for Black History Month, who knew they had Norma Kamali over there. I don't think this is in stock any longer, but she does make one similar. She makes one shorter. She makes it all black. I'm almost six feet tall. This is the best thing I could have ever had. Because at the end of the day, right, we all need those kind of utilitarian pieces. A good North Face, a good coat of Paxi. You know, I knew about that. I know. I know. A little, you know what I'm saying? A little hip-hop backpacker vibe. Um, so, uh, you, you probably need to be down at the REI to grab you something to help you shovel snow. I get that. I do. That's not what I have featured in this video. However, this coat kind of toes that line. I can wear this with a pair of snow boots or I can wear this with a pair of heels. I can do both with this, which is why I have always loved it. It is a wrap coat with a high collar. The only downside to it, y'all, is that it does catch my makeup. And I've washed it, of course, many times since, since having it. And the makeup has stained it. But I don't mind that. It is a coat, not a ball gown. Okay, and when I got someplace to go and I want to be comfortable and chic, I throw it on. It is for sure my favorite piece of outerwear. If something ever happened to it, I would replace it without a shadow of a doubt. And you all love it too. I always get compliments on this and for good reason. I don't know what's inside of it so if you have like a, a goose or a down allergy definitely check what the coat is made of but the warmth is definitely there and there are two coats that i want to lift up that i don't currently have but i've been looking at them like very seriously we, we we've been having a a conversation in my cart about whether or not these need to actually come home with me i asked you all over on ig i said who makes great black coats or where can I find a great black coat? And y'all told me Mango. And I found this coat over on Mango. It's given definitely control. Oh, and I wanted it immediately. But when I saw it, it wasn't on sale. And I was like, Mango, you tried it. Like, why would I pay $300 full price? Now, going back to fabrication, it is the fabric that we need it to be as far as being naturally, a naturally derived fabric or majority naturally derived. And so I can understand the price point. But we all know Mango has sales. And so I've just been stalking it. I will check the Mango app every once in a while. And it has come down a bit. But I've made it this far as far as the cold weather season is concerned. I might as well just wait until it goes really, really, really on sale at the turn of the season. And so that's what I think I'm going to do. But if you are in need of a black coat now, girl, them gold buttons, baby. You throw on a nasty boot and a turtleneck? Girl, please. I'll be all in New York on the train, hopping off the train down at Tiffany's, down on 145th Street. I don't know if that's a thing. I'll be all over Harlem. I'll be everywhere with this on. And a red lip? And don't let me mess around and get a hat. Get like a real nasty fedora. Some layered necklaces outside of the turtleneck. 
and then pop over to RH rooftop for dinner by myself. I don't have time for nobody. I, I don't know. I am the only company that I need. Because <laughs> you see what I look like. That's what this gives. It is just a refined moment of grandeur. I have arrived. Have a give gloves, honey. Take them gloves. Just you coming in. Just hi. Reservation for one. <laughs> Girl, uh, I know you can see it. I know you can. And what I also love that Mango has are these kind of classic aviator coats that are faux fur and leather or faux fur and faux leather. I'm not in the market for something at the highest price point. I just don't know with my style I would wear it that much. I'm so tall, y'all, that I find it hard sometimes to wear things that are cropped. Like, or I shouldn't even say cropped, but waist length as far as outerwear. Not always, but typically okay so with that said i will be trying to figure out how to style this and get the most use out of it so i, I wouldn't go full leather it that's just too big of an investment but a faux leather situation with a faux fur situation and layer this thing on down we might be on to something again we're gonna wait until the turn of the season for the price point to uh drop even more and we'll have something to kind of give it a go and to be excited about when the weather turns again later this year and that is it good people thank you so much for watching this video if you made it this far i know you are subscribed I know you are. Also, join my private community. We have a great time. We're actually going live together very soon. And our lives almost feel like a very intimate, like, girlfriends chat, okay? We just get together with Kiki. We have some wine. We talk about goals, life celebrations. We hype each other. It is a great little small community that I am so blessed to be a part of and to be curating. And I would love to have you there as well. In the meantime, make sure you are following me all over the internet. And I will see you good people outside, girl. Um when I get back from Mexico. <laughs> not trying to rub it in. I'm not, girl, but, you know, I'm just gonna go grab my bikinis, blow the dust off of them, and just get ready for my pina colada. Bye. <laughs>